Let's take a look at the acoustic agent found within Groove Agent 4. Groove Agent 4 features three different agents, an acoustic agent, a beat agent, and a percussion agent. The acoustic agent captures three different kits in ideal studio environments. We have a rock kit here, so if you wanted to audition the sounds. I could load kits directly from this window, or if I wanted to load a specific kit, such as one from my vintage drum kit. And as you can see, there's multiple presets for each of the drum kits. So if you wanted to have different signal processing, they've been optimized for different genres of music. So here's our vintage kit that we've heard on countless records. And let's load up our studio kit. Now each of the kits have been sampled in both 16-bit and 24-bit, so if you have an older system with not as much memory as you would like, you could use the 16-bit samples. Four agents can be loaded simultaneously, so if you wanted to combine an acoustic kit with an electronic and percussion, you could have three different agents and these respond to different MIDI channels, so MIDI channel 1, 2, 3, and 4. If we click here in this icon, we can open up the piano keyboard where we can trigger and audition notes. We could also audition notes from our 16 pads. And we have 16 pads, but eight banks of 16 pads. So we have 128 pads here, triggering MIDI notes. Each of the notes is clearly defined right here as to what MIDI note message that will respond to. And it's kind of set up to immediately work with electronic drum sets. But if you need to tweak it, you could actually click right here and now right click and you could actually just learn the trigger note just hit the pad and then just it'll automatically capture that. You could also manually set it here so you could uh, manually assign a note and you could uh, now for the first time in Groove Agent you could actually assign multiple pads to the same pitch so if you want to do a quick layering so very handy for that. There's the capability when we see our pads here that to have a pattern pad so we'll get into that in just a couple minutes. It's so looking at the instrument, when I select the instrument, we will see different adjustable parameters show up here at the bottom. So if I want to take my kick drum and I want to tune the kick drum or send that more into the room, or if I wanted to take my snare drum and I could adjust how much is being fed to the overheads. There's also bleed control. So if I wanted more of the kick drum to go into the hi-hat and snare mics, you could adjust that. Plus, you have control over tuning, attack, hold, and decay. So if you wanted to kind of tweak all the different sounds, just select the sound and you'd have all the parameters that you'd want to tweak right below. We have a full layer of pattern pads. Now as we work with the patterns, these could be really interesting because the acoustic agent, one of the things that's problematic with a lot of different drum programs is coming up with intros, endings, fills, and people tend to repeat the same fill over and over again and it gets to be kind of a giveaway that it's not a real drummer playing it. So we have different colors and each of the pads, whether it's in a pattern or an instrument can be colorized just by right clicking and you could set the color. So the patterns indicate different song structures here. So uh, if I wanted to have four distinct introductions, four endings, that's what these colors indicate. Plus we have eight different drum fills and eight patterns. Most of the presets will use the same MIDI port, so you just use different notes that are generally out of the range of typical MIDI drum sample assignment for patterns. But if you wanted to have more patterns and notes that would overlap, if you click here on the lower left-hand side, you could assign a, a secondary port, a port B, just to patterns. So you could have a full 128 instrument pads and a full 128 patterns. Now the patterns, are great because you can actually just hit play and kind of just start off with your idea here. If you're just coming up with an initial song idea, Groove Agent is great for that because you don't have to spend all your creative energy coming up with a drum part. 
worry about not being able to come up and have that creative energy spent at a critical time. If I wanted to put this into what we call jam mode, what's cool about this is I could start off with an introduction. So I'll just kind of hit play. And then once we do the introduction, there's four different parts of a jam mode. So you have standard, which would be like an introduction. Next, which would be set up for kind of like a continuous, like, you know, maybe a verse or chorus. So you have returns, which we could think of as drum fills and stops as endings. So I have, I'll do an introduction here. So I'll hit this pad and it's going to immediately go into. We come here, it's playing this pattern. If I hit a drum fill, it'll trigger that drum fill and immediately go back to the pattern. And let's say I want to do this pattern now. And immediately goes back. Let's do a, another drum fill. And let's hit an ending. It's a really easy way to kind of have a song structure for live use or if you're just kind of coming up with your initial idea to play your guitar or bass or keyboards along with. Um, so the jam mode is very handy for that. Now as we work with the patterns, these patterns can basically be sequenced as well because these again respond to MIDI notes. So if I wanted to come here and just sequence an event, I could just sequence these changes. So I'll go ahead and record and with my MIDI controller, I can trigger drum fills. And now what I've done is I've sequenced the pattern of patterns. So at this point I could just play that back and it's gonna change all the patterns. The patterns, we can have independent patterns per pad or I could load up pattern groups. So if I wanted to load up at a pattern group, let's say something a little more funky, we have a whole plethora of these pattern groups for different genres of music. As I wanted to play this pattern now, we'll just hit play. So it's a little more funky. Now we see these different control options here. If I wanted to immediately go to a drum fill, I could just move the circle here Plus I could access my four intros and my four endings. But we also have this XY axis. And this is really interesting because we have complexity going horizontally and intensity going vertically. So if I wanted it to be softer or louder or more complex, we have 16 levels of complexity. So if I want something to be very complex and soft and gradually get louder and less complex. I could map these to MIDI controllers as well very easily. So if I just right click, I have a Nectar controller next to me. I'll say learn CC, move a slider, and then I'll right click again on the Intensity, say learn CC, move a slider. Then I could just use my MIDI controller here to control the parameters musically. Now something else that's very interesting is you have the ability to assign these to automation as well. So if I wanted to, I could say, let's assign to new automation and then immediately show the complexity in the automation. So as I play back, if I'm playing back my pattern, I could just draw in automation here.
and you can see the complexity changing. If I wanted to kind of have it so it's not doing the same pattern over and over again, one of the things that's very handy is this concept of auto complexity. So I could say every measure, just do a slight variation as we do this. So as we apply, and I could choose to do every beat at the beginning of the bar, or I could say, you know, on beats one and three, beats two and four, beats one and four, do little variations. So it's not playing the same thing over and over again. Also, if I wanted to, we have a halftime feel. So if I want a halftime feel, and let's turn on a one bar variation. But I could also say every four bars, do a random drum fill. And to watch it kind of update here. And if that drum fill is only on beats three and four and silenced on beats one and two, you could click on break. And if that happens, that will just pause the drums naturally. And let's say if I wanted to not have a cymbal crash after every fill, because that could get annoying. I could turn that off, or if I wanted the hi-hat to only be at the tip or the shank, or if I didn't want any bell of the ride cymbal, we could adjust that there. So you hear the break there. So you kind of hit play, and then you know it's kind of automatically doing a lot of artificial intelligence so that you can just kind of be inspired to play along with it. We wanted to incorporate this into, if I really like that pattern, I could just drag it right onto my timeline, and then I could just have my pattern right on my timeline. One of the great things is because we have such great integration, I could actually just say, we could actually create the drum map. You could actually see all the names created directly right from here so that you can see exactly what components. Now, if you modified some of the components here in the drum map. And if I wanted to be able to access that as an addressable pattern, I can now just go to bank three here and drag it on and I could have my own pattern. If you wanted to actually do the pattern editing within the program itself, we can select the pattern, click on this little icon here. We're gonna convert that into the MIDI pattern click on pattern and you can see basically a mini Cubase drum editor. So you could record additional parts here. You could also have visibility options. You can adjust your velocity. So all your different drum editing capabilities right there inside of the plugin itself. Now Groove Agent 4 has a very comprehensive mixer. So if I wanted to go to the mixer, there's four different levels of the mixer. There's going to be a master or global inserts here. So if I want to take all of my agents and run them through insert effects, each kit can have four dedicated master effects. There's going to be different auxiliary sends. Now within Groove Agent, you have 29 different effect plugins within the actual plugin itself. So a wide variety of choices here. So you want reverb, studio EQ, envelope shaper, compression, limiting all your different choices. So here we could have four different auxiliary sends, each with four effects that could be stacked. And we have our agent mixer. To capture the sound of really great acoustic drums, you need a really good balance of the actual direct mics and the room and overhead mics. So here we could have different tabs. So if I wanted to only see my kick and snares, so the individual components, the individual toms, the, the cymbals or percussion, but I could also see groups. So if I want to see all of my kicks, if I wanted to see all of my snares where I could just pull one fader and be able to adjust those. So if I wanted to play my pattern and kind of tweak the sound of the mix, I could say I just want to hear maybe the kick and the overheads and the room mics. Or if you wanted to bring in 
your different elements here again. And again, why we have all those presets is this has all been tweaked to be perfectly optimized. So if I wanted to go to my snare group, I could actually select my snare. And what we see here is a channel strip below. So if I wanted to, I could have four bands of parametric EQ on each element. So whether it's a group or an individual channel, I could have full compression, tape saturation, and envelope shaping for transient design. So if I have my aux end here, and let's say I have a reverb, I can now go to my agent, and if I want it more reverb in that snare, I could just come right over here and be able to tweak all those different settings for individual sounds. So as you can see, whether you wanted to have incredibly realistic drum samples with up to 32 velocity layers and 20 different microphones, you want to be able to tweak all the sounds, you want to be able to jam along with it and be able to work creatively with patterns, be able to tweak patterns, be able to edit the patterns to have kind of natural fills, to have halftime feels, to be able to have control over automation or with external MIDI devices, plugin that's set up to work ideally with any electronic drum kit, to have all that flexibility within the mixing with up to 29 different effects and really kind of unrestrained flexibility, Groove Agent 4, the acoustic agent, is very powerful.